people streaming. Appreciate you watching me. If you're not familiar, my name is Jeff Hoagland. I'm currently number one on SCG's leaderboard. I play a lot of constructed formats. Modern uh, typically is one of my favorite formats, but it's been leaving a little bit to be desired with the recent changes, so we'll see. Hopefully it'll get better again soon. Sees is pretty good. Uh, the way he tapped means he doesn't have a lord, though. No attacks. So doesn't have a lord. It's, huh. That's a, I think that's what the kids refer to as a good draw. I'm un, uncertain, though. So if he... If he peels a lord next turn, we take nine. But then, like, we get to mow the lord down with P and K. I'm going to play spell skate out here then as well. Am I getting remanded? Am I getting dismembered? Yeah, missequenced. Oh, that was awful missequencing. Ugh, that's so bad. Hopefully that doesn't lose us this game. Shit, if he has a lord, we're just super in trouble now. I guess I have Rex Sage for the spreading seas. Yeah, that was... Uh, I, I don't want to attack with the mirror because I don't think he has a lord because he would have played it last turn. He's like, he had two draw steps to find one. Um, yeah, I, I missequenced that. So, like, we're probably going to lose this game because I sequenced that poorly. Just has more spreading seats. That's fine. Still doesn't have a lord. Yeah, so going to lose this game because of my sequencing, for sure. I guess we could just, like, be lucky and draw a quarter of calling. But, like, that's, like, super, super sloppy sequencing. Like, could could be killing that with a PN cure in this turn. He just, he just wouldn't have played it. Quarter calling? Ugh. Okay, that's actually not that bad, because we can Resto Rex Sage the Firelit Thicket. Okay. I'm going to ship back. I'm not worried about uh, getting Resto countered, because his only counter is like Unified Will, and we have more creatures than him, so. We've got three, four, five, six, seven. He shouldn't even, he shouldn't even bring in, uh, he shouldn't even bring in Unified Will against me, I don't think. So if he has a lord this turn, we're taking 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. If he has two lords, we die. Like, we'd be winning this game in a very not close manner if I would have played the spell skite and then played a P and Kirin. Uh, Eternal Masters isn't really going to have a bearing on anything I do in Magic, so I haven't really put a lot of thought into it. And people are like... Giving a lot of thought to uh, Mark Rosewater's uh, it's when, not if, for a new constructed format. Like, a new constructed format could just be something like Plane Chase, you know? Plane Chase is a constructed format. It could be something fun that's casual. Tidebinder. Interesting. Oh, we're dead to an island walk lord because of Mutavolt. Yep, good call. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Because now we don't have triple red. Man. He's got so punished this game for my mistakes. At least he doesn't have a lord. All right, we're going to rest out at end step here and kill the one in the fire lit thicket and then hope to rip a red source. Sometimes they play, like, remand. I guess we could get remanded here, but that's probably not the end of the world. We need we needed to blink the wreck stage to free free the fire lit thicket is the problem. So now we have now we have two red. Like we had one red, now we have two. Like Alright. You know that's 
Glass half full. All right, only got to dodge a lord for one turn here. I'm leaving blue up so we could activate spell sky with mana. Ship with Resto here? Yeah, I'm gonna ship with Resto. I think we've got enough. Nah, I'm gonna hold it back. We're dead to Lord either way, I don't think. Well, if I ship with Resto there, he'd go to 13 and then. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we're supposed to attack there. So I ship with Resto with two tokens, he goes to 11, and then next turn he'd go to 8. Hey, yo. I'm going to wait a turn here, and the reason why I'm going to to wait a turn is um, if he has Harbringer in hand, which is not incredibly, un which isn't completely unlikely for him to have, um, I think we can just kill him the fair way this game, so I put him to, this puts him to, this puts him to 12, and then next turn we hit him for 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, I'm just gonna ship with I'm just gonna ship with these. Um, these guys here. I'm doing this because if we get Harbringered and then he has a Lord, we lose the game. This way, we're not dead to Harbringer into Island Walk Lord. He's going to Harbringer to bounce one of them. Deal. And I'm going to sack the one he targets here to kill uh, kill us Rizzi. You're silly, kid. So, like, the, the only reason to go for the combo here was if we didn't have a way to play around being dead to an Island Walk Lord, but we can, we can make ourselves not be dead to an Island Walk Lord, so there's no reason to play into it here. That's unfortunate, but still not. Are you stomping, Jake? Stomp, stomp, stomp. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Alright, so I could throw... I could throw a Thopter at him and put him to 11. And then we can hit him for 3, 4, 5 and put him to 6. I don't think that's worthwhile. We unfortunately cannot cast Kiki anymore because of my line. I'm gonna grab Stomping Ground for now. Oh, bird's not a bad draw. We could kill the Tide Binder. All right. I think we still just like have this game on lock. Kaya! Kaya! I guess we did the double lord, which he does not have. That. Mm, 
One, two, three. So we're still dead to... Are we dead to Harbringer and to Lord here? Yeah, I think we're just supposed to, like, keep beating him down the fairway. We're dead. We're dead to double lord if I play out the Kiki. Is the is the problem? That's that. When I say dead to double lord, I mean in the event that we play out the Kiki Jiki, we are dead to double lord. Uh, I think I, I came to this conclusion after um, and I came to this conclusion after I submitted the deck list for this league. I don't think I want the third lightning helix in my board anymore if I'm expecting less burn. Especially with the dismembers as extra ways to uh, kill things in general. Uh, generally I don't like keeping hands that don't do anything before turn three, but at six I think this is fine. Uh, we, lost in, we lost in three to robots. And I should have topped that. You should just always top when you're going to fetch on one. Birds of Paradise, you say. Hopefully he's playing Abzan Company. That much is pretty good for us. Alright, bird on two. Right on time. Jacob Jeffrey. Oath of Nyssa. Sure, I'm intrigued. You have my attention. Come here, Jake. Jake, come here. Sorry about that. My toddler likes to attack my youngest. Yeah, you're a terror. You attack your brother. Oh, at least Courser drew a card. Glass half full. What did he reveal with Oath? He got his own Courser. All right, interesting. So he's playing Green Devotion. That makes sense. <sighs> Dryad Arbor plus Mirror Superior. That's that's interesting. I've played Dryad Arbor before, just because. Um, I think I'm going to play this Eternal Witness out since there's a Kiki on top of my deck. Yeah, I kind of want to try Dryad Arbor now. Mirror Superion's hot. Gets cast off Dryad Arbor. Jacob Jeffrey. He just really wants you to be awake, bud. So we'll see what he does here. Get something to drink. Oath of Nyssa to cast Nico Bolas in Tron. You know, why just go Karn big when you can go Nico Bolas big? You know what I'm saying? All right, now we're probably dead. I just like assume once he plays this and then like can make infinite mana, he's going to.